Hi there, in this video we're going to be solving a monohybrid cross, essentially the most basic kind of Mendelian genetics problem. Now, silky feathers in fowl are caused by an allele whose effect is recessive to that for normal feathers. So then according to this statement, we know that you need to be homozygous recessive in order to have silky feathers. Now the question is, if 98 birds were raised from a cross between two individuals that were heterozygous, so let's just stop right there, uh, two individuals that were heterozygous. That means you have a capital A, or the dominant allele, and you have the recessive allele. So we're, it's a cross between two individuals that were like this. So if we go ahead and make a Punnett square, we can predict the types of genotypes the offspring, or the progeny, will, will have. Now let me reread the question. If 98 birds were raised from a cross between two individuals, two individuals, that were heterozygous, how many would be expected to be silky and how many are, would be expected to be normal? So we have 98 birds, and looking at the Punnett square, which genotypes would allow you to be normal? Well, we know that the only possibility to be actually silky feathers is being homozygous recessive. And because there's four possibilities, this one, this one, this one, it's going to be one over four probability of being silky. That leaves the other one, three-fourths, as being normal. So in order to figure out how many of this 98 progeny, uh, 98 offspring, are going to be normal and silky, you just multiply it by the probability, which is equivalent to the proportion. So all you have to do is 98 multiply one-fourth, and you'll get the amount of silky birds, approximately. Now if you did this calculation here, you're actually going to get 24.5. But we're just going to round up. You can either round up or down, there's really no preference. But if you do it, you have to stay consistent. And what I mean by that is, let's say we round up to 25. We have 25 total silky birds. So if you wanted to calculate the amount of uh, normal birds, you can do 3 fourths multiply 98. For this, you would get 73.5. But since you have to round up, you're going to get 74. Okay, now that we have the question solved, mind you, the question was, if we cross two heterozygous uh, fowl, which are a type of bird, I think, uh, how many of them are going to be silky, and how many of them are going to be normal, if you have 98 total progeny? And we found the answer by doing a Punnett square here, and calculating the proportions. We knew that homozygous dominant here, heterozygous, are all going to give you normal feathers. The only situation that would give you silky feathers is the homozygous recessive here. So that told us that one fourth, because there's four, prob or four possibilities, and this is the only one that would give you silky, one fourth equals being silky. The rest are going to give you normal, so three fourths would be normal. Then we multiplied this proportion by the total number of progeny, or uh, offspring, which was 98, and you got the respective proportions or amounts of each type of bird either silky or normal. And as one last question to end off the video, if you had a normal feathered bird, what would be the easiest way to determine if it was homozygous or heterozygous? So if, so what does it mean to be a normal, a normal bird in this situation, to not be silky? Well, as I just finished saying, you can either be homozygous or dominant, you can have big A, big A, or you can be heterozygous. So or, you can be A, A. So what's the easiest way to determine if a bird is homozygous dominant or heterozygous? Well, this, the answer to this is actually using a test cross. A test cross normally involves uh, crossing uh, the, the normal bird with a known genotype. This one usually is homozygous recessive, which means, let's say, let's say the normal bird had a genotype of AA, and we didn't know that, but we knew the genotype of another guy, the another bird, the homozygous recessive one. This one right here, AA. Well, if, when notice in the progeny here, all of them are heterozygous. That tells us all of the progeny are going to be normal. So if you cross this initial normal bird right here with a known genotype of like uh, homozygous recessive, and you get all of the offspring, all of the progeny to be normal birds, then you know that the bird right here that you're trying to figure out the genotype of has to be homozygous dominant. Similarly, if let's say the normal bird actually had a genotype of heterozygous right here, well, if you crossed it with a homozygous recessive thing, this one right here, you would essentially get this. You would get this type of Punnett square right here. Notice that there's a one-to-one -one proportion. Uh, one half of these progeny here are homozygous recessive, and the other half is homozygous, or rather um, heterozygous. 
This says that all of the progeny, or at least half of the progeny, are going to be silky, and the other half are going to be normal. So as a concluding statement, if you crossed the mysterious bird with a bird that had homozygous recessive, the little a's, and all of the offspring, if, if all of the offspring were normal, then you know that the mysterious bird has a, a genotype of AA. But if some of them were silky and some of them were normal, then you know that the mysterious bird has to have a heterozygous genotype. Thank you for watching. This dragged on a bit, I know. It's, yeah, I'll try to keep it short next time. And I hope you're having a nice day.